Hey YouTube, Willie Man here. Hey, I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview. My neighbors were getting rid of their kids' old Power Wheels Jeep Hurricane. They sent it our way. And I know the 12 volt battery is decent. I think the low speed goes two and a half miles an hour and the high speed goes five miles an hour. He wanted a little more power. So we ended up doing an 18 volt conversion on this thing. So let's check this puppy out. All the workers back here in the engine bay. So typically this is where you'd find the 12 volt battery. So we added a few ends to help juice, juice this up a bit. Coming out of here, you got the black and the white wires. It had a connector that connected directly to the 12 volt battery. So we just cut those and Ran some new line. Got a few other odds and ends in here. I'm gonna go over what, what each piece is. Instead of going with those big, heavy 12 volt batteries plus a six volt, we ended up going with one of these. M18 red lithium, high output, heavy duty 12.0 amp hour battery from Milwaukee. Got a bunch of these tools. Why not see what we can do with this? Started with this. Here's our juice, 18 volts. We're connecting it with 3D printed Milwaukee M18 battery power mount connector adapter dock. So that just connects directly to the battery. Powers up this whole thing. That immediately turns on this guy down here. So it gives me a current uh, voltage reading, 19.5. I haven't charged it up and he's used it for uh, I don't know, a 30 minute run. Uh, a couple days ago, so haven't charged it since, but got this wired connected directly to inline 40 amp fuse protector, but just ordered this on Amazon or no, I think I got this one on ML Toys, I believe. I'll put links in the description for all these items. Just connected it with a couple quick disconnects. That's running directly to the power side of this controller here. This is a digital low voltage uh, protector disconnect switch. A lot of time using these M18 tools, in the Milwaukee drills or you know power tool, uh, once the battery gets low enough, it'll automatically shut off the tool. Basically, it won't let it over discharge because of the circuitry built into the tools themselves. However, when you're not using it with a Milwaukee tool, when you're just using it in this application, you can potentially damage the battery by over discharging it because you don't have the circuitry telling the uh, battery to to stop sending juice. So. This little guy will help save your battery. Hopefully, uh, you can pre-program. There's a couple buttons down there you press, but you can adjust the, the voltage cutoff. So I think I have it set for 16 and a half volts. So once this thing gets low enough and touches 16 and a half volts, it will shut off the battery and won't allow any more juice to go out. And then I can just swap in a quick, uh, smaller battery to get us home the rest of the way. So that way we don't get stranded and have to push this thing all the way back. So we got the in from the battery out to the speed controller. This is a uh, DC motor speed controller switch. So what this does by twisting this dial, so this is basically zero to 100, this direction. This will allow me to control the voltage uh, from the battery. So essentially we can have, you know, zero volts, turn it up, uh, five volts, six volts, right in the middle would be about nine volts. 12 volts, 15, and then 18 volts. Depending on who's riding this thing, whether it's a three-year-old who doesn't have any experience driving, we can just dial down the power and it becomes a lot more manageable. Or if my son, he's getting really used to it, we just crank it up all the way and uh, he can have 18 volts of pure pure pleasure driving this thing. And that's pretty much, pretty much the in from the battery connected to the fuse on the power side. We've got the out going to the DC speed control and the DC speed controller going directly to the uh, original wiring uh, power lines to the power wheel. That's it. Uh, this thing definitely is a much quicker. I think I've recorded it on GPS about seven, maybe a little over seven miles an hour on uh, the top end. Second gear, this thing's got two speeds. Oh, it's got three actually. It's got a reverse gear. It's got a speed one forward and speed two forward. Speed one goes about five miles an hour now. Top speed at 18 volts and then speed two will do about a little over seven miles an hour. I'll post some video of what it looks like now. I see it's got a little more comfortable, a little more used to the speed. We took it off road the other day, so I'll, I'll put some highlight reels shortly. That's the, uh, the project. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe.